deep in the forest of the Western Ghats, a hairy caterpillar makes its way to his favorite leaf. Caterpillars are eating machines and are generally nocturnal. Their hair acts as a defense mechanism against potential predators. They secrete a silky thread from the glands in their mouth, which not only help them escape from potential threat, but also help them reach new food sources. If a caterpillar survives long enough, they will miraculously metamorphosize into colorful butterflies. The butterflies not only add colors to the wonderful biodiversity of the Western Ghats, but also they are wonderful pollinators and are responsible for the distribution of an incredible range of flowering plants in the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats themselves undergo a remarkable metamorphosis. The dry forest system turns into a fluorescent shade of green. As the moisture devoid blue clouds are replaced by moisture laden dark clouds in the monsoon season. The height of the mountainous Western Ghats and its dense forest systems are a major contributor for the formations of monsoons in the Indian Peninsula. The monsoon springs life all around the forest of the Western Ghats. The plateaus in the mountains of the Western Ghats may seem devoid of life in the summer, but the arrival of monsoon transforms everything. Macrofauna and microfauna start springing everywhere. Small water holes like this are created by accumulation of monsoon water. The water holes are a home to a very unique species of frog, the Malabar gliding frog. Known more for its gliding ability, they have a very unique but lesser known mating behavior which is entirely dependent on rainwater. They are tree frogs and they spend their day camouflage on leaves of trees surrounding the water hole by day. But by night, in the monsoons, they start to give unique mating calls. They secrete a special foam while mating, in which the eggs and the seminal fluids are laid. Slowly this foam hardens and then the fertilized eggs develop into tadpoles in this foam. These tadpoles then tumble down into the water hole below, using the monsoon water as a medium of transport. Where there are frogs, there are snakes. The trees around the water hole has the presence of a lethal ambush predator, the Malabar pit viper. Mostly found in the upper reaches of the Western Ghats, they rest on the tree during the day, but by night they are incredibly active. Using their heat pits and its incredible speed and lethal venom, it hunts for frogs and other small prey in the night. But even they are no match for a king cobra. It is one of the most venomous and longest snakes in the world. A snake eater. All smaller snakes are on its menu. But the king cobra too depends on precious water, which is down to a trickle in the harsh Indian summer. Larger mammals too are in a race of survival in the peak of summer as all water sources almost dry up six months after the monsoons. The fast flowing rivers of the forest, which provided water to the animals and the human population for irrigation and drinking purposes, start drying up in the incessant summer heat. The relation of monsoons and the forest of the Western Ghats is a complex cycle of interdependence. It is a delicately staged dance. 
one which we are disturbing, trying to play God by diverting the very water which is the lifeline of this forest system. The very forest system which gives us the monsoons we survive. If this last forest are destroyed, which other forest we would sacrifice next is the million dollar question we need to ask ourselves.